So if you have a flight controller that you can't get into DFU or bootloader mode and the boot buttons or the boot pads don't work, stay tuned, I'll share with you how it's done. Bom dia everyone! So I have here with me the Mob Light 7 HD0 and I couldn't get it flying because I couldn't bind it to my radio because uh, I'm using the Express LRS V3.0. So I tried going into the DFU mode to reflash the flight controller but unfortunately the boot pads just don't work. So I tried many many ways and many times to the point where it really got frustrating. So this particular flight controller is the Super B F4 from Happy Model and it doesn't have the boot buttons but it has the boot pads and you need to breach the boot pads to get it into bootloader mode. I tried using my standard screwdriver, it didn't work. I tried using a pair of tweezers, it didn't work. So maybe I thought I'd use a different tweezer and that didn't work either. So I thought maybe I wasn't bridging it correctly so I tried using the screwdriver again and making sure that the two boot pads are touching each other and that didn't work either. To the point where I even soldered both the boot pads and realized that the boot pads are not working. And after making that realization I thought okay we really need to bypass those boot pads and force the flight controller into DFU mode. But first, we need to find the correct firmware to load into this flight controller and I'm going to use this hex file from Happy Model because this is the Super B F4 and I need this hex file for the V3.0. Once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to just plug in the flight controller and go into Battle Flight and move down into the CLI and on your command line, type BL, Brian Lucas, that's me. This will then force your flight controller into DFU mode and from there you can reflash your flight controller to specific firmwares that you need but most importantly you got it into DFU mode and are able to flash that firmware. Although sometimes even after reflashing you might have issues, like in my case the gyro is not detected but don't worry that is not a hardware issue it is always a firmware issue so you need to find the correct firmware that goes with the flight controller and once reflashing is done everything should be working as it is supposed to. So here we see that the accelerometer is back in place and the next thing we should check are the ESCs. So that's just an easy part about the ESCs just making sure that all of them are flashed properly and that the motors are spinning correctly. I use esc-configurator.com which makes it easy for anyone to use. Do check out my previous videos on BlueJ using this esc-configurator.com. Alright so now that we've done the configuration it's time to test the tiny whoop and see if it binds and see if everything else works. For more videos on this Mop Light 7 HD0, do tune in for the next one. So that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.